بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى بيته الطيبين الطاهرين Peace be upon you our dear viewers and welcome to new episode of Shia Calendar with me Ali Ma'ash We send our congratulations to the Imam of our time Al-Mahdi Al-Muntabar May Allah hasten his reappearance and to the whole Islamic world on this happy occasion on the 3rd of Sha'ban the birth of Al-Imam Hussein, the master of martyrs we send our heartfelt greetings, salutations, peace and blessings upon the master of our time, Al-Imam Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadhar, may Allah hasten his reappearance on the auspicious occasion of the holy birth of Imam Al-Hussein salam, the Prince of Martyrs, the master of Karbala. Today marks the third of the holy month of Sha'ban. On this holy day, our master was born into the house of revelation. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, is the son of our Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, and our Master Ali, peace be upon him. He is the grandson of the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him and his family. The Prophet who used to say, Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. His grandmother is none other than our Lady Khadija, peace be upon her. This pious lady who stood by the Prophet's side when the majority of his tribe and the other Arabs at the time called him a magician and a liar. We have a journey to take and in this journey, in this episode, my dear viewers, we will give you a snippet of the life of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him. His name is Hussein, peace be upon him, and he is known as Abu Abdullah, the father of Abdullah. His epithets are the master of martyrs, Sayyid al-Shahada, the father of the Imams, Abu al-Aimma, Master of the Youth of Paradise, Sayyid Shabab Ahl al-Jannah, the Master, a Sayyid, the Guide, a Rashid, the Martyr, a Shaheed, the Chaste, a Zaki, the Proof of God's Existence, a Dalil ala Allah, and several others. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, was born on the 3rd of Sha'ban, on the 4th year after Hijra. Shaykh al Mufid reports in his Irshad on the authority of Umm al Fadl, she said, in my dreams I saw something that kept me in awe and wonder, and I was in fear. I could not understand what I had just seen. I departed and headed towards the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family, and said, I saw a very bad dream. I saw a piece of you, a limb of your limbs, lying on my bed. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family, upon hearing this, smiled and was happy. He gave her glad tidings and said, You have seen a blessing. Fatima will give birth to a child and he will lay on your bed. Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, gave birth to Al Hussein, peace be upon him. And Umm al Fadl stated, Truly the news of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family, came to be. And Al Hussein ended up on my bed. From the Book of Al Arshad, Volume 2, page 129. Joining such reports and the reports that prophesizes the oppression and killing of Imam Al Hussein, peace be upon him, by people who claim to be Muslims and of the nation of the Prophet, Imam Al Sadiq, peace be upon him, has said, The Archangel Gabriel descended upon Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, and said, O Muhammad, glad tidings from Allah. He informs you that your daughter soon be blessed with a child and this child will be killed by your nation after your passing. The Prophet peace be upon him and his family then said, O Gabriel, upon my Lord greetings and peace. I do not need a child that will be killed by my nations after me. Gabriel ascended to the heavens and descended back and he brought forth the same message. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, responded with the same answer. Until the third ascension, in which Gabriel said, O Muhammad, Allah sends forth his greetings and peace, and informs you that in this child's progeny, Imama, means a divine authority, command, will continue. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, said, I am pleased. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, went to Fatima, peace be upon her, and said to her, Allah informs you that this nation will kill your son after me. She said, I need not a son that will be killed by your nation. He then called her again and said, Allah has placed in his progeny Imama, 
means divine authority or command. She called him forth and said, I am pleased with this. From the book of Al-Kafi, volume 1, page 464. This was the prophecy revealed to the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, concerning his grandson, Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon him, and his status that Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon him, has been given to be the medium for the divine message of Allah, is a great status that was only achieved by his innocent blood being shed on the holy lands of Karbala. Today is a happy and auspicious occasion, but the Prophet of Islam shed his tears on this day as well, knowing what will happen to his son after him. It is reported that when the news of the birth of Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon him, reached the Prophet, he began to walk towards the house of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. When al-Hassan, peace be upon him, was born, he used fast steps, but when al-Hussein, peace be upon him, was born, his steps were slow and heavy, and the sadness could be read from his speech and his walk. He arrived and said, O oh Asma, let me hold my son. Asma gave him Hussein, and he began to hold him close to his chest, kiss him, and involuntarily began to cry. Asma was not sure what was going on, and she said, May my father and mother be sacrificed for you. What makes you cry? The Prophet, after his eyes filled with tears, said, I cry upon my son. She said, He was just born. The Prophet answered her with a very sad, broken and low voice. He said, People of filth that are of impure birth will kill him. They will never receive my intercession. From the book of Rawdat al page 154. The birth of Imam al Hussein is a happy occasion since the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, raised this child, taught him, gave him his knowledge. From day one, he was in the hands of the Prophet of Islam. After his holy birth, it is reported by all Muslims across all sects that the Prophet performed the ceremonial birth rituals for his newborn grandson. He performs al-adhan and al-iqama on his right and left ear, respectively. The name Hussein was a name that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon the Imam. The incident is widely known concerning his naming. He was not named until the call came from the skies, informing the Prophet to name him Hussein, like his brother Hassan before him. There is even a testimony by the scholars and historians. They state, these names were not known amongst the people of Jahiliya, means ignorance, and these two were the first who carried these names. This points us to the fact that these names came by revelation. Other various ceremonial practices took place that are still done till today as a part of the tradition, Sunnah, of the Prophet of Islam. This is a short intro into the life of our Master Hussein, peace be upon him, on this holy day of his birth. The Prophet of Islam, who constantly informed his nation of his sons and their high status as the master of the youth of paradise, we find that the Ummah turned back on their heels and slaughtered the son of the daughter of Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. That is all that we have for you today. On this beautiful occasion of the birth of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, make sure to tune in as we will be having more joyous occasions in this holy month of Sha'ban. Peace be upon you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.